Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Gudrun chocolates. These are uh, from Belgium, they're Belgian chocolates. These were sent to us from Jason in Maryland. Thank you very, very much, Jason. I have already opened the box, I wanna let you know, because I wanted to take a picture before we got started because I didn't know what to expect. So, if you can keep that gift bag. That's a very nice gift bag. Mm -hmm. And then, this was um, like taped on the side, but then when you open it up, there's a piece of paper and it has a um, it has a cheat sheet in here. So this is telling us it also has it on the front of the bag. There was a little piece, but it's on this paper. Now they actually came they actually came like this and they they were covered. And so, like I said, I opened it so that uh, I could take a picture before we got started. So, no, you pick what we pick. Well, well why don't we just start with one? Start at the beginning. I got knife and fingers. Okay. Um, it says uh, this one is a magnolia. This it one? is, yes, it looks like a butterfly. It does, or a flower. Or a flower. A magnolia, yeah. Uh, milk chocolate filled with hazelnut and macadamia praline. That's a lot of chocolate. It's a lot of chocolate. You want to know the calories? No. <laughs> but they probably will. <laughs> I think two. Yeah, two pieces are 150 calories. Ooh. Here's breakfast. <laughs> um, so is that, we're going to try all those? That's what's in here. Oh my goodness, Christ. Um, <laughs> that is... Um, That's good. It's very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. I love the, the creaminess of the chocolate. Yes, and you can really taste the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. It good. wasn't as strong as some hazelnut that we've had. Yeah. It wasn't like you were actually eating a hazelnut. Right. But it was a nice But it was flavor. in there, yes. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the next one is called Harmony. This one? Yes. It is crunchy praline enrobed in milk chocolate. It is crunchy. It's almost like a toffee. Not quite as hard as a toffee, but. Hmm. Like a little crunchy, sugary bits. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's good. It's very sweet. It's, it's not, um, it's not like a rich milk chocolate, mm -hmm. but it's not a dark chocolate either. No, I agree. It's kind of in between. It's, yeah, it's kind of in between. But I like the little sugar, the crunchy sugar. I do crystals. too. It's not like a, it's not like a Rice Krispie treat or something. No, no, it's more like little ground up toffee bits or yes. something, but it doesn't taste like toffee, but they feel like toffee. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. I guess that's the praline. This one, oh, we're going straight across. I thought we were. Okay, this one is Juliet, a dark ganache with Christmas spices and roasted caramelized almond pieces finished with sugar crisps. I get like orange. A, I think that tastes like an orange uh, egg. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like, a chocolate orange. It's nice too. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what they would consider Christmas spices. Christmas spices. It's chocolate orange. Yeah, it's exactly what it But is. I really like it. Mm. To me, it didn't taste dark. It didn't, I mean, it was no. darker, it is but it dark? wasn't bitter. Yeah, it is a dark ganache. No, no it's, it was really, I thought it was really good. There was no bitterness there at all. No, I didn't, I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. Um, so, the great chocolate, if you want a chocolate orange, that would be the Juliet. But tell you what, so far these have been really good chocolate. This is the exotic, a ganache originating from the Dominican Republic enrobed in milk chocolate. I like the texture. That flavor is not for me. It's weird. It's got an odd, especially the aftertaste. Wow, after you swallow it's like... It's it's like it which is trying to be a mocha, like a, yeah, a coffee, something. like a coffee flavor, but... I didn't like it either. 
it's there's just something funky about it that i mean it's chocolate it's edible of course but it's just there's just some funky flavor in there that i don't care for there's a weird flavor I, and, and the aftertaste was there for a little while but now it's kind of gone so. and it truly is like it's trying to be a coffee of sorts yeah it's something there's something going on i want to make sure this one's called an en enora layers of raspberry vanilla and madeline flavored cream inside a milk chocolate shell all topped with raspberry mm. bits it's got like a little raspberry um on the bottom and then a cream and then these Ooh. little dried raspberries on the top. It's cool of them. Sorry about the noise. Mm. I like a raspberry flavor. That's a nice flavor. I and it's too. not overpowering though, either raspberry either. And that cream. Mm, the cream. Very, very the, the, uh, the vanilla cream, it's almost like it has a cheesecake flavor. I There's agree. a little I agree. It's yeah. cheesecake, yeah. Yeah, it's like a raspberry cheesecake. Yeah, with a little chocolate on mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's excellent. That actually tastes more like cheesecake than some other things that have claimed to be cheesecake. I agree. That has yeah. a cheese, I guess maybe they don't, I don't know if cheesecakes are popular in Belgium or not, mm -hmm. um, but that's what that tastes like. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one so far. Carmella. I think that's this one. Uh, Carmel, yeah, it is. Chewy, caramel, and robed in milk chocolate and topped with caramelized sugar pieces. You get two of these in each layer. Oh, I wonder right why you get two of those. Mm -hmm. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a nice caramel. It's not a super sweet caramel like a like the Brock Squares, but it has that similar flavor, like that buttery flavor. I like that a lot. I could eat that. I could eat a whole box. Now, of see, it. for me, I think that's sweeter than the Brock Squares. I mm. truly do. I think it's incredible. I don't think the flavors are strong. You get the butteriness of it, but no, I it's, think it's, it's sweet. It's buttery. Yes, I do think it's sweet, but I don't think that buttery flavor comes. It's not as strong on a, as a Brox, but it's still very, very, very good. That is incredibly sweet, yeah. yes. That's that's probably my favorite. I think we ought to try this one, and then I think we ought to, uh, for us, pause. Okay, good and then, and then, <laughs> well, yes. Okay, these are Nobelese, dark chocolate with apple filling and crunchy cinnamon cream. So apple filling, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's got like a little, Something squishy on top. Like a jelly. We're halfway third. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't get apple at all. I mean, not even the least bit. I got hmm. like 1%. No, I didn't, I didn't get an apple. I mean, the flavor in the least bit. I, I, I truly feel like it was there and then it was gone. Yeah. Uh, really, I, I feel like they just did not add enough. It was good. It was more um, just dark chocolate. And yeah. that was um, the kind that dries your mouth out yeah. dark. Yeah, that was dark, dark. That would not be one that I would want all the time. It wasn't bad. No, it was still good chocolate. Um, it wasn't bad at all. And I liked it a lot more than that exotic one from the yeah, Dominican Republic. Um, so what is your favorite that we've tried so the far? Caramel, the caramel and the raspberry. Carmella, yeah. yeah. Carmella and Enora, I will agree with you. So for you all, it'll be just a second. We'll be back. Full disclosure, uh, we filmed the first half of this video this morning. For and now, yeah, now it is afternoon. Lunch. So for, well, for an afternoon snack, uh, we're gonna finish the rest of the box. So uh, there there was just too many chocolates to There's try a lot of different at one time. Yeah, well. Um, Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, that's a lot of chocolate. So we're back. Um, now we're gonna try the Gusto. Gusto. It is a salted praline oh. filling coated in rich milk chocolate. I think I cut the right one. Yeah. Good, very sweet. Mm-hmm. 
That one has a hazelnut kind of flavor. I thought that too. It does not say hazelnut, mm -hmm. but it had a hazelnut flavor to it. It did. And I, it, that's what I tasted was hazelnut. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Chocolate and hazelnut. It's really right. good though. And, it, and it, it does say praline, but. It, I didn't get the crunchy praline. No. It, I was saying praline is a little crunchy bits, but right. I, didn't get that, no. I didn't get that feel. No, that huh. tasted like hazelnut to me. It was good. It was very good. It just wasn't what you're expecting when you read that. And this next one is. Rig Doesn't make a noise. Oh, Rigoletto. It is a cream filling with crispy cereals and roasted hazelnuts enrobed in dark chocolate and topped with milk chocolate flakes. I like that crispy outer shell. Mm -hmm. I got like a chocolate covered cherry vibe from that. You know, it said crispy cereals, but... Maybe it didn't list the ones on top. It's not it those said top bits with, on top. Those, it said top with milk chocolate flakes. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, I get a little crunch, one or two little crunches, but not a lot. I understand what you mean with the cherry flavor, too. Yeah, it, it's like a little... I mean, it's very light, but it's like a but little it bit does of a chocolate have a, covered cherry. Yeah, it does have a cherry flavor. Uh, like the one before it, the description really doesn't fit well with what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I taste more of the cherry. I've been, got very, very little crispy pieces. Mm -hmm. And the milk chocolate flakes were really, I think, where the crisp was at. I know, that's um, the only thing I got crisp yeah, but That it one was, was weird. It was, it was good, yeah, it but was it just, um, it wasn't what they described it as. Mm -hmm. And the next one is called Vanity. Smooth caramel in a milk chocolate shell. Oof. Very simple. Ooh. And it is a, it's a runny caramel. I'm gonna get it off my knife. Now I got it on my finger. I forgot to bring a napkin. I cleaned it off. This morning I had a napkin. Mm. I tell you what, this company knows how to do caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. Because the caramel, we had the Carmella from this morning. I like the Carmella better. I do too, I like the Carmella better. But I'll, I, you don't like runny caramel anyway. Though. This no. really is a runny caramel. It's, a it's incredibly sweet. But though. you still get that butteriness uh, flavor. You do, and the chocolate's nice too. Mm -hmm. so that's the, really good. The next so one is. I feel like is I'm wearing more of it than I eat. Araya. Is it this, is it this one the fancy top square, one? Yes, that's it. Looks like steps or something. It is a dark ganache with a mixture of coriander hmm. and lime inside coriander. a dark chocolate shell. So coriander and lime. I guess I'll be eating that. <laughs> coriander. I don't really know what coriander tastes like. We've had it before. And it's... Floral? Yeah. It's not one that I really care about. I got a very floral flavor. Yeah, it, it's... Um, Honestly, that's what I've always thought about the coriander. It's, it's like a, you've eaten a flower. You've eaten a I, just, I don't care for it particularly, but a lot of you would. Um, but we don't like that rose flavor either, and a lot of you do. So you might really like that. But I didn't necessarily get lime. No, there was... That was not my favorite. I did not like that. I got more dark yeah. chocolate than anything, honestly. It I did an not odd little that. like a floral kind of flavor. Yeah, that one wasn't for me. The next one is called Figaro. Figaro. A delicious Figaro, coconut. Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> uh, a delicious coconut cream filling enhanced with coconut flakes. You didn't think you'd get a little culture here, did you? Figaro. A little Figaro, opera. Figaro, Figaro. <laughs> The only way I know that is from like Bugs uh, Bunny. Bugs Bunny, I suppose it's like Bugs Bunny in the cartoon. Oh! <laughs> and he would get him to hold the note. He stuck the glove up in the air and he pulled his arm down and went. Mm -hmm. And the guy the glove was purple. Yeah. And, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> mm. I like that. It's um, it's it's some coconut, but it's very very sweet. Yes, it's a it's a almost like a coconut milk. Yes, it's extremely creamy coconut. Mm -hmm. I didn't get pieces of coconut. No. Well, 
I don't. Yeah. But I agree. There's it, a couple of pieces. It's like coconut milk. Mm -hmm. That would be very creamy. That would actually make a really nice drink. Mm -hmm. um, we'll thin it just a little bit more. I think like get a couple that. pieces of coconut. Well, just a few little humps. Now, this, this one's gonna have the crown on it. I got two little. Yeah, they were little bitty pieces. pieces. This Start one is. The voice. Well, don't do that. Time to have to get the chopper out of the way. No, you don't. Leave it. This one is called Princess. Bossy. Dark chocolate with a classic truffle filling. Yeah. Princess. It's, it looks more like a like a blend of a lint or. Roll in door. Which one's the balls? Lindor? Limp. Limp. This was that kind of remind me of center of my man. That's good, but it's kind of plain. Mm-hmm. It's not a that that chocolate, it's just not a, a rich chocolate to it. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of depth to it. There's, it yeah. This um, is a very, very basic right. whipped chocolate. Yeah. It, it, it just, it would, um, it's almost like if you have a pudding cup or something. It's just not the. Yeah, it uh, even has less flavor than the pudding really cup. It really does. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to that one. And the last one is the one I'm looking forward to. I know. The most. And it's the only white. Because it is white chocolate. It's the only white, white chocolate one in the bunch. Um, it's called Manon. White chocolate filled mm. with mocha cream. Looks good. Ooh. No, no, no. You immediately get the mocha bar. Hmm. I like that. I love the texture. I Very was creamy. Say that too. It's like a whipped mm -hmm. cream, but yes. thicker, like a whipped mousse on it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very thick whipped. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like that. It's not a. It's not a super like a black coffee flavor either. It's more of a creamer sweetened coffee. It is, but it's still strong. It's a strong flavor, but it's it's not like a bitter. No bitterness to it. I guess no, it's, no, it's it's nice. If you like coffee at all, you would mm -hmm. like that. That's one. nice. It's very good. So in the on each layer, I'm assuming the other one's exact duplicate. Oh yeah. You get two of those, the two mochas. Mm -hmm. You get two of the figaros. That's the coconut. The coconut. You get two of Carmella. Carmella, which was our, that's, that's the probably best my one. favorite that's one. That's the best one in the whole box. And you get Carmella. two of the Harmony. Harmony was the uh, just crunchy praline and milk chocolate. And that one was good. Mm -hmm. That one has little crunchy bits in it. So the ones you got two of were really good, except maybe the Figaro was okay. I mean, it was. It was, it was the cute. coconut. Yeah, it coconut. Was good. That was coconut. But my favorite out of this row was probably uh, the, this row. Hmm. Part of the mocha. Mine was that last one, the yeah. man and the white chocolate with mocha. Yeah, mocha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, the coconut one was really the good too. I like the coconut in that one. one. Yeah, but um, out of the whole box, of the the Carmella. Carmella is the best. It is uh, chewy caramel and rubbed in milk chocolate and topped with caramelized sugar pieces. And I'm thinking I really like that one. We too. did. The, in, Enora. That's yeah. the raspberry. Uh, so the two favorite out of the first batch we did was my favorite out of the whole box. Yeah. Yeah, but if they sold like a box of just that Carmella, you all would love it. It's really good. It's funny because Jason sent this to us. We actually bought the same color bag and everything last Christmas. And I think I had intended to review it, but then I decided, no, I'm going to give it to give somebody. It so I actually gave it to somebody else as a gift. And so we never tried it. So Was it the same brand? It, yes, exactly. Yeah. It came I in the bag and everything. It was a red bag. It was the same That's thing. <laughs> so I think it's very ironic that you sent it to us, but well, I'm so glad. Very good brand. Very good gift. If you gave that to somebody, if they're not happy, they're just crazy non-chocolate. Yeah. It, it, now, <laughs> is it the very best milk chocolate I've ever had? No, no, it's not. No, but there's enough good in this box to be Absolutely. a very good gift. Absolutely. I, I definitely think it's a, it would be a great gift. Um, I think whoever gets it will be very happy, and there's so much to choose from. So many different that, flavors. Yeah, you're really going to enjoy it. So, Jason, thank you very much for thinking of us. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.